Africa. Nations in the Sahel and the Horn of Africa are increasingly using drones. African nations fighting insurgencies from the Sahel to the Horn of Africa have recently opted to integrate armed drones into their arsenals. As claimed by RFI, Burkina Faso, Togo, and Niger have been employing the Turkish Bayraktar TB2 in their fight against terrorism. The Bayraktar TB2 is a medium altitude, long endurance, unmanned combat aerial vehicle. As specified by Armed Forces website, the Bayraktar TB2 has a range of 150 kilometers, a maximum speed of 220 kilometers per hour, and an armament of four laser-guided smart munitions. As reported by RFI, a Bayraktar TB2 was seen for the first time in Somalia at Aden Ade International Airport in Mogadishu on Monday, September 19, 2022. RFI claims Iranian drones have been spotted in Tigray region where an insurgency against the federal government is being waged. In the opinion of RFI, most armed drones employed in Africa are made in Turkey, China, and Iran. Drones are a relatively low-cost, effective alternative to conventional weapons. Nigeria. Nigerian military warns residents to vacate forest for bombing campaign. The Nigerian military is warning non-combatants in Zamfara, Katsina, and Kaduna states to leave the forested areas because of a bombing campaign against armed gangs and terrorists. As reported by Reuters, TV and radio advertisements in Pidgin English, Hausa, Kanuri, and Fulani are currently running in three northwestern states. An eyewitness in Zamfara State claimed he saw fighter jets flying in the area, while two other residents from Zamfara State said the Nigerian Air Force has been bombing the area since Saturday morning, as reported in Reuters. Tanzania. Tanzania and Mozambique sign agreements to fight terrorism on border. On Wednesday, September 21st, 2022, Tanzania and Mozambique signed memorandums of understanding for peace and security and defense cooperation along their mutual border. Tanzanian President Samia Suluhu Hassan and Mozambican President Felipe Nyusi were present for the signing in Mozambican capital, Maputo. As reported by the East African newspaper, Hassan lamented, quote, there has been too much criminal activity along the border and terrorism remains a serious problem. It is a long border and stronger cooperation has become a critical necessity, unquote. Musi said life in Mozambique is, quote, gradually returning to normal, unquote, since thousands of troops from several African nations have deployed to the country. The insurgency in Mozambique began in October 2017, when 30 insurgents attacked three police stations in the northern port town of Mosimboa da Praia. On Tuesday, Nusi visited the port town liberated by Mozambican and Rwandan troops in August 2021, as said in Africa News.